More than 48 hours now after historic flooding, parts of I-94 remain underwater. And tonight we're hearing from drivers who had their cars stranded on the freeway and shocked at how much money it's costing them to get their vehicles back. Priya Mann joins us live along 94 this evening. And Priya, I understand many of these drivers say they simply can't afford the towing costs. Yeah, that's right, Karen. We spoke to one woman who said her quote was $800. She's a single mom, can't afford that financial hit, and she's not alone. The cleanup as well, far from over. Take a look at this stretch of I-94. This is between Livernoy and Lanyo. Still a lot of flooding on this stretch, as well as a few abandoned vehicles. Drivers whose cars were towed say they feel like they're being taken advantage of. But I feel like they want me to give them my car because I can't pay to get it out. Drivers caught in flood water say tow yards are charging exorbitant amounts for their vehicles. We've seen seven people come here and pay uh, average $550. you are not getting your car. Tow companies under contract with MSP removed abandoned vehicles to clear up area freeways. On Monday, frustrated drivers waited hours trying to get their cars back. My car's not starting. Um, it wouldn't even unlock with the buttons. None of the power was working. She could only gather her things and wait to see what insurance will cover. I have full coverage, so I'm hoping that something, anything. Many drivers are stranded after more than two dozen pumps stopped working due to power outages. MDOT got generators out to some pump houses, but the water on I-94 has nowhere to go. The local creeks have been cresting, and so we were pu pumping water off the roadway, but it was just coming right back onto the freeway. Governor Whitmer says the longstanding infrastructure issues that led to this need to be fixed. I think it's crucial we address the crisis, but seek to understand precisely where there are opportunities and needs for, for changes. For homeowners dealing with water damage or drivers who can't afford to get their vehicles back, changes can't come soon enough. It's just unfair that people like this in here are getting away with this. Scary, very scary, um, very stressful. It's been a very anxiety ridden weekend. Now, that tow company said they saw about 100 customers today, and they are offering help to those who need it. Of course, it was a different story talking to the folks who were outside. Meanwhile, Governor Whitmer says the review process is underway to see if Michigan uh, will be eligible for federal assistance. Reporting live tonight from the east side, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Oh, you feel for those people facing those tough, tough, high bills yeah. on that towing. All right, thank you, Priya.